How's it going everyone? Back with another stream today. We're playing some more Pioneer Black Green Rock. Um, and we are taking a list that um, someone named Rags in my Discord has been uh, going for one. I think they went for one twice. Uh, so I, I kind of took their list and made some minor changes. But I wanted to try their main shell. Um, where they are running Caustic Bronco. I'm kind of getting this like my last shot. Because I've been kind of unimpressed with Caustic Bronco. From the streams that I had, also just playing Explore with it. Um, so this card's been kind of um, underwhelming. That's why I want to try a show that's been working for someone else. Just to see uh, if we have kind of similar results, right? Um, but the main card that we're also testing from that list is Goldvein Hydra. Um, this is an X green creature that has Vigilance, Trample, and Ace. Um, and then it, it, it comes into play with X plus and plus one counters. Uh, so essentially, if it's like a 4 mana 3 3 Vigilance, Trample, Haste, which is relevant to like attack down, you know, Planeswalkers, gives us reach. Um, and then when it dies, you can create tapped treasure tokens equal to its power. So like you can make it into like a 2 2 or 3 3, and then if it dies, it essentially ramps you, which is interesting because this result gives us revolt. Um, so. Uh, this card is kind of in a vacuum, you know, I feel like you want to play cards that are like above rate, like 3 mana 3, 4 is why Sentinel is really good. Um, you know, 2 mana 3, 2 is why Monster Dread Knight's good. This is kind of below rate, uh, but I think the main thing is it has haste um, and vigilance. And, and trample if, if we get big enough. Um, so I'd be interested to see how this actually works in paper versus, or in practice versus on paper. Uh, and then they had a sideboard with like Leyland of the Voids and four Pick Your Poisons. I kind of made it a little bit more of my own personal sideboard, like having like at least four sweepers. Uh, since we're having Caustic Broncos in the main, I'm gonna have two regular Bankbusters in the sideboard. So, and there's no duress in the main, so I'm gonna keep the two rests in the side. But again, we're gonna just try this out. There's also a one of Underground Mortuary that was in the list that I want to try out again, as it's just kind of a one of. Um, instead of like having another mainland, like a lair, we're having a, a underground mortuary here. So we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. Uh, they mull in a six, we'll keep the seven. Basic island. Sage so another land, not the best. I was like thinking if the restless cottage should be like of an underground mortuary and like you should have like a layer of the hydra. So I think if this is like an underground mortuary, it'd be kind of cool to play this on turn one. And then kind of like scry whatever or surveil. Oh, it's the spirits. How about a fatal push? A Mosswood Knight. See how good Bronco is here. Um, if I can go like Dread Knight into. Oh, that's not good. Um, so it's just a racing situation. Gold Vein Hydra. So why don't we try to saddle here? Thoughtsies. Take three. Bronco looking pretty good here. Kind of, we didn't have to. If this was like a bank buster, we'd have to like um, invest any mana into it. Probably take this curious obsession. Okay, so they'll change EOT. We take five. We can slam Shelly next turn. Uh, 
I could also just take their chains. Hope they don't draw a counter scroll off this curious obsession. They have two curious obsessions. I think I'll take the curious obsession. So I'm gonna take five, go to ten. This is tough. They didn't change. That's actually really good for me because then the clock doesn't go up. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll slam a shielded. I have to block this. Because I'll let this leave the way they go chains and then they go three, seven, eight. Yeah, so I'll saddle the Dread Knight. And then attack. I could attack for this, but I kind of want to draw the card here. Drew a land. They take it. Interesting. Being very conservative here. So they chains. I could take eight in the air. So awkwardly they can shackle guys. So they play chains. So this is where like drawing a rule spell would be nice. I can make a four four gold vein hydra. That can attack for 4, 8, 11, 12, 13. So if they hit island. Okay. Interesting. Walk here. I have to. Okay. Um, I don't think we have an out here. Is that something? I could go up to five. With the scoos. No, sorry, four. There's only one creature. I guess I could put a creature in the graveyard. So if I push this, this is three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think there's a way out here. Push this two, four, five, six. Scoos. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that this gets pumped by the Lord. Unfortunate. So we'll just board in the sweepers. Take your poisons look pretty good here. Uh, I think the lilies are kind of suspect a little bit. I don't like the hydras in this matchup. I don't like the broncos either. I like. I feel like I sideboard out broncos like every match. Uh, I 
They bought Trim a Sentinel. <laughs> Mismatch skills. Yeah, I feel like I like board out Broncos like every match. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't help that we just we just never drew spot removal that game. I mean, they have the rattle chains, and maybe that's an argument to take the rattle chains with that thought sees. Uh, a bottom of scoops. Hopefully, I draw a land here. Guess I'll take the coat. I could make them sack the coat, worst case scenario. So do I just take the obsession? I feel like they're never gonna cast this unless they, um, unless the coast is clear. And then it replaces itself, so I'm just going to take it. How to land. Nice. They drew the island for turn. Do that. Okay. Definitely aggroing us out here. So the hand is Sprays and a Borrower, Faces Haven Cryptic Coat. Maybe I should have attacked. Attack for one. So I'll eat a Spectral Sailor at the end of turn. They could Brazen Borrower, which is kind of annoying, but. I'm going to slam a Cryptic Coat next turn. So I'll probably bounce EOT. Oh, they'll just make a 2 3. Okay. Interesting. Um, I think I'll let this go. They slant cryptic coat. 
that's fine. On top land would be great. Thanks. Ooh, that is a that is a um That is the untap land. Or that is an answer to the I guess we already have the answer to the cryptic coat. So we'll attack first. Kind of sucks that we lose our scoos, but They're attacking. Oh, because they get bounce cryptic code too. This is really awkward. It's an awkward game. I mean, at this point, maybe I thought he's the wrong card. Maybe I should have thought he's the uh, cryptic coat. Uh, I think I have to keep that to pitch the bitter triumph. They just they flash this in, animate attack. I think I'm dead. <laughs> this game is just very, very awkward. They've been very conservative, though. They're, like, really sandbagging this Grayson Bar, which is kind of a good idea. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty, I'm pretty dead here. Oh. They give me the... Ooh, do they play Spell Pierce here? No, but then we can pick your poison and then EE, and then they can just activate this and win. So that's game over. Good game. Good game. I have two thoughts with this. Yeah. How's it going, Maka? Should I mow the one land hand? I think I already mowed in that game, didn't I? Sorry, my brain's been kind of fried from work. I thought I mow. I thought that was already a mulligan. I could be wrong. Double Shelly.
I'll just take the tome. Yeah, that was already a mole and a six, Maka. That's why I, I, I mean, I'm not going to go to five. So, okay, so this is where the underground mortuary looks pretty cool here. Or oh, we're just going to play Bronco. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we end up with the horse. Or is Bank Buster gonna be a better role here? Because on paper, I feel like Bank Buster is better in, in this matchup. Get on top. I'm gonna attack. Because um, I don't think I'm gonna scry or anything first, especially if I like draw into a Sentinel. I'd rather just play the Sentinel. Okay. So now I can play this on the oh, but they have the field of ruin already. I might just keep this. Cause they're gonna field anyway. Yeah. Hopefully they don't hit their fourth land for Shelly. Since because they have two. Yeah, especially because they have two. It's hard to... Yeah. So I'm glad I kept this. So now, did they hit their... Yep. And this is where, like, now it's like... Yeah, like, Bankbuster would... Uh hurt to draw but like now this bronco is just a 2-2 two -two. and this is where like i want a bank buster instead um, i think i keep that on top Do I just take this here? I don't think it's worth trading resources. Guard Cemetery. Okay. This is kind of like an awkward game of cast, cat, cat and mouse, but... I will do this. And then they can do this. They'll get the men. Oh. Okay. They have a backup Shelly. Is it weird for me to just do this and then just like saddle here? I will say I've definitely missed Abrupt Decay. This is an Assassin's Trophy. It'd be kind of awkward. Moss Witcher Knight. Okay. All the triggers. Uh, this gold vein hydra though. So we could play for five. Do they keep the shield right?
Okay, is this Golvein Hydra about to steal a game here? <laughs> oh man, Nine Ball is gonna lose his shit if this happens. <laughs> oh man, I would die. I'm gonna borrow time here. So I can play Dread Knight and play Hydra for three, attack for five. But I can't attack with this. I, I have to hit a land with this. They go to 10. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, this this is like why Bronco is like so awkward. The fact that you have to like attack with it is just such an awkward board state. I can attack with Goldvein Hydra for five. They go to fourteen. The other option is I could try to monster dry knight, try to hit either one of my go for the throws or bitter triumph or Liliana the Veil. I go to one, but then they have a shielded in hand already. So I guess the option here is I could attack with Goldvein Hydra. They attack with Shieldred. I block with the Bronco and I hope my top deck is a removal spell for Shieldred. If I, uh, I could Dread Knight crew with Hydra, I could Hydra for three, crew, attack, play Dread Knight, they go to 10, they go back up to 12, and then I have a, th play a Dread Knight to block. Conversely, I could just go Dread Knight. I could Dread Knight, um, crew, attack, try to get, and then play a 3-3 Hydra. Block with the Hydra, get 3 mana, untap. If I draw another Goldvein Hydra, that's, I have 3, 6, 7, 10. I can Goldvein for 9. So if I hit a 3 drop off this Bronco, that wins. I'm going to take that line. I'm going to go for the winning line here. Make the treasures. Hopefully this Bronco reveals a Shieldred. If it reveals a Shieldred, that would be pretty clutch. Oh! <laughs> you don't say. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Pl every plan that we just mentioned has changed. So now that they play Shieldred, this Goldwing Hydra will force them to. So, do they have a fatal push? Oh, they have a duress and not a thought seize. <laughs> This Hydra! Oh my goodness gracious. Is this Hydra about to take it all? Holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, this Bronco did save me. <laughs> this Bronco did work. <laughs> Uh, so throat and then Hydra for four. Yeah. What a game. What a game. Hydra for lethal. <laughs> Nine ball. 
<laughs> oh, I should saddle. Oh, I I punted. Oh, I just attack with this. That's fine. Let's play it safe. Attack for seven. I should have I should have saddled here. Actually, no. This is just correct attack like that. If I saddle, then I don't have enough. That's fantastic. I would have taken one. <laughs> Hydra, baby! Gold vein! Hydra! <laughs> yep, yeah, Bronco, Bronco did work. And this is the data that I want, right? I, I, I just want something to be like, hey, like, I actually have a game where Bronco... Because I feel like when I... The games I do, and it's like it's because of its spite. Fireball is an okay card. It's Fireball Hydra, Gold Ball Hydra. Is that what we're calling it? Record Bank Buster, Ren, couple picks, Duress. I don't like Harvester in this matchup. Um, Broncos is going to be staying. Brought the pushes, I think. Yeah, dude, when I was, like, just, like, looking at... Because I was looking at Rags list in the Discord, and I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, I'm just curious how much they are if I had to pick these up. And they're, like, $13. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Let me actually finish sideboarding before I do this. Um... I like Golden Hydra just because they play like Lily out of the Veil. So like having this is nice. I think I'm gonna borrow with the Scuses. Unless they play Karavik. I can see a an I did I board in the oh I only I only board in one, one duress. I can see the other duress coming in. I like two post board generally. Since we have two decays, is it bad if I cut pick your poison? This pick your poison does stop. Waste not and does answer the Aklazots too. Maybe I'll just trim one Hydra, especially on the draw. Yeah, like it's like. Did this go up since yesterday? This is the pre release version with just 20 bucks. But then the. Oh, here. The, yeah, the regular ones are like 12. Yesterday I saw they were 13. I was like, hmm? <laughs> What? <laughs> what is happening? And the foils are. Which are the foils? Oh, it's so much. It's so weird looking at this. Uh, on on a desktop. <laughs> I'm so used to looking at it on mobile. Yeah, thirteen ish. Sorry, but. That's that's subtly like the best draw because now we can go castle into death calculate. Holy cow! We do take two damage, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so we have answer to the Karavik. I think I take the waste knot, unfortunately, because I can't let them go waste on into go blank. I think that's too strong. Much too strong. Much too strong. I think in this spot right here, I will just play the monster gen, especially if they have the like, guy reach sanitarium too. So they're going to have this Tome active for a couple turns, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so like this Overgrown Tomb literally saved us. So now this is like worse if they play Liliana. Uh, and it's kind of awkward because then like, do we want to Dread Whispers or do we want to just like Golvain Hydra it down? awkward it, it, it opens up a potential awkward line uh they put a page counter and they topped so this if they just like slay liliana i'd be sad go blank i think i ditched shelly and bitter triumph
So now I can just play Gold Vein for two, which is not great, but. Mossword Druid Knight. I think I'll Gold Vein for two. Let's, let's, let's be a little aggro here. This is the best gold vein, but it is uh, the best we got. The other options, I kind of dread whispers and hope to hit a fourth line and do it, but I'd rather just next turn. They bottom with this made nine tomb. Interesting. Oh, okay. The treasures! <laughs> the treasures! Okay. Love to see that. Hmm. I wonder if I save this. Oh. I think I just play on my hand. Those uh, treasures, huh? Came in pretty clutch. <laughs> Came in pretty clutch. Draw. So they can't Karavik plus um, Thought Sees Me and then push something. They don't have the mana. They're, they're stuck on three, which is really awkward. Oh, they have Urborg and play Maka, so they can cast uh, Karavik if they wanted to. Gold, bold move, Cotton. Bold move. Bold move gotten. I think the thought sees me. Cut. This Karabake is just like rotting in their hand. Uh if I reveal a if I draw a creature. If I draw like a three power creature and then I have another two. No, five, seven, and the three CMC on top, I win. Or I just draw nothing. <laughs> or I just draw nothing. Understood. Well, they have the opportunity to gain four here, so that's unfortunate. Oh. So there... Is this a spot where I just decay this? Because oh, but this already triggers. Never mind. So I can't. There's no point to K. It. it it gets four. Um. It gets the fourth counter. My bad. My bad. Yeah. So them being stuck on three is really really awkward for them. And then if they slam a shield right here, that's really awkward. They talked with this maze mine too. Yeah, this is this looks like a shielded. This looks like a shielded. Yep. I'm gonna go for it. Since they're at six, so they have to block one of my Dread Knights. So my Bronco will go through. They go to one. Let's go to one. I'll go to eight. Oops. Thought 
bases. Are they in a position to attack? I guess I could just thought seize next turn. Worst case scenario, hold up, up, up to K. Yeah. So they go up to three, potentially five, they Gaia reach, but that's not a winning line. They like push this, I can block with Muta Vault. Oh, they drew the field. Hmm. This is a tough spot for them. Activate Guy Reach. I'll ditch one of my thought seasons. Now their field of ruin is not online. They go to five. So they push one, block one, they take four. Ooh, this is close. Do they have Fatal Push? Push, block, take four, go to one. I could also just play this Hive. If I thought sees, I just die. Uh, when I untap, I think I just have to make them have Fatal Push. Interesting. This Bronco <laughs> has drawn me Liliana both games. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, cool. We can go turn one. More true air we. Uh, this Phoenix. Cool. Mortuary value. <laughs> <laughs> Mortuary value. Hilarious. So this is Phoenix. These two Broncos do not look good. Mill the Wow Cup Gal. So this is indeed Phoenix. They go Shredder. I'm going to be really sad because I would like. I have no removal in my deck, in my hand. I also am really reluctant to just play this Bronco out because if they do have a removal spell, I don't want them to go like Shredder, kill this. I think we'll just do it. The, the upside is just so high because if they have a removal spell, they have a removal spell. If they don't have the fire impulse, we get to untap. 
So, so we're having a discard spell would have been really nice. They opt. So they left out red mana. They bought in with the opt. Okay, so now they're going to... We get to untap with Bronco again? <laughs> no way. No way. Such. Sag. They did not double spell, which is interesting. I see. Hopefully no lava axe. This is a very awkward game with Phoenix. Take three. Lock there, take another three. I wonder if the lightning axe, no lightning axe. Take two, Shieldred Polygon gonna work there. They can bring the Phoenix back if they have another. Oh, they discarded a cruise. So they have another cruise in hand or they just can't cast the screws. So they can bring a Phoenix back. Don't attack. We don't have any removal. I think I'm going to Dread Whispers. Try to hit a Rumble spell for this Shredder. Awesome. Push this. This is a Force Trigger. They'll go to eight. What up, Corey? Discard a Phoenix, sure. Go to five. Presumably three, unless they had they drew a lava axe that turn that draw step. Oh, double impulse. Cruise. You were done Bronco there? That's a, yeah, I could see the ore. I just like having two trampling threats. But yeah, I could I could see either way, because I guess like we're expecting to attack next turn. I could see that. Don't 
Double Phoenix. Yeah, because then I guess I, guess I could attack with the Bronco. At this point, do I just go double Sentinel? I guess so. I think so. I just wanted to make any burn spell that they had to bring back these phoenixes more awkward. Because I really don't think they, if, like, if they have a fire impulse in hand, I feel like they wouldn't have cast it. <clears throat> so the next turn I can go hive. Discard a land is kind of cute for us because that means the Shredder just chumps a Drenna versus just bouncing off each other. Because the next turn, I feel like I just right click attack all. They found a Phoenix. So they cast, they cast Shredder, Pick Lock, and a Slight. So they still need to cast one more spell, which they have. <laughs> Pile into the graveyard. Back of Phoenix. Talk. I feel like I'm telegraphing a little spell. Okay. So they block. This is four. Okay. 
They have no cards in hand. So they need a cruise to I don't want to lose my Monster Dread Knight. I play Baco here. <clears throat> Borrower opt picklock prankster axe. They choose lightning axe. I feel like they need to get picklock prankster. I don't I don't I don't think lightning axe was the right play. I don't think lighting us was the right play. I was going the 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 reason why I took the line is I was kind of going for the win essentially, where I wanted them just single block a dread knight and then I can go for lethal. That might have been incorrect, but I think I can board out the Decays. Harvester is decent. I don't like the Broncos in this matchup. It was kind of nice on top with it, but it's just not great. I think we pull out the Lily. That's also a fair line too, Dietzel. I guess my line is a little bit... I just wanted to see if they were going to impulse my Dread Knight. Because I feel like if they do, then they get a lot of information. Because if they have an impulse and we just activate Hive, they could kill our Hive and we... It's kind of awkward. <clears throat> Two Hydra. <laughs> what kind of hand is this? I mean, our opponent's hand was very awkward. They, like, didn't have a burn spell and went Shredder into, like, nothing. It's a very... That was a very, 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 very below average Phoenix hand. Like, maybe that shouldn't have been a Mulligan, honestly. Easy prankster. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they're at five, so they could block with Phoenix. Excellent.
think I'll play this. Like, it doesn't really matter, technically. But, like, if I guess I draw another block source. I don't know. Oh, we need an ex extension event like ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. I might, should I have Hydra for one? That would have been hilarious. Oh, no. Uh, third land, huh? All right, Hydra. Time to step up to the plate. What would you like to lightning axe this? Then I can make a 6-6 six, six Hydra <laughs> next turn. <laughs> oh, baby. No? Okay. Okay. You know what's a great map target? This guy. Oh, boo. Boo. This is actually quite scary. Because, um. Oh, they don't discard the Phoenix. Interesting. Um, I think I will pick here instead. I don't want the Shredder to go wild here. And I'll just go Sentinel. And I'll just save these treasures for next turn when I go lane again. You want to race? <laughs> you want to race? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Is that what you want to do? You want to race? <laughs> Growing up, were you ever forced to eat a dinner with eat this or go to bed hungry or you aren't leaving the table to you eat this? That's a weird question. Uh... I don't know, I lived in, I was in an Asian household, so if you don't eat, you're kind of shunned. <laughs> Gold Lane Hydra! Let's go! <laughs> Nine ball. This is for you. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Ditzel, yes, dead in two. <laughs> And then they block, and then we unlicense her, and then we eat the two phoenixes. Maybe three is the right number. Oh, baby. Thoughtseize into Thoughtseize Underground Mortuary. This is cool flex slot data that we're getting a lot of mileage out of today. Like, outside that first Spirits match, like, we're getting a lot of good data on Brocco, Hydra, and... Um, and, um, Hydra, Bronco, and, um, and the Mortuary. He topped like a Thoughtseize. 
I think I should take this bit of triumph. Their, their hand is very thought seize proof. <clears throat> like I wouldn't have honestly. That kind of depends on what I see on the surveil. But if they never, if they didn't thought seize me, um, I probably wouldn't have thought seize necessarily. I guess now I will thought seize to. Okay, let's think about this. Do we want to surveil first? Because we know their whole hand, right? So since we have their whole hand, let's actually mortuary first because we know uh, what we're going to get ourselves into. Little Out of the Veil is actually not that great here. Just because of the fact that like they have two of these these two Dust Legion Zealots. So I think I'm gonna actually bottom this and just thought sees this bitter triumph away. I could also just Liliana start plussing next turn. But they also have this Muta Vault to attack it down. I'm just going to play in the graveyard. This Liliana's very awkward. Every time I play against vampires, they always have the Muta Vault. And they don't know about our Shieldred, so... Okay, so this is where we hope to draw a... Um, Monster Dread Knight... Or a Sentinel in the Nameless City, or anything. But no, we draw a Russell's Cottage. But so far, we scried two to the bottom, which is kind of good. They have the red mana. Attack. I uh, hope they didn't draw into a removal spell here. I think I will Sentinel here. Just because I know the coast is kind of clear. And if they want to spend a removal spell, I want them to cast spend it on this, then a the my shielded. Fuck it. <laughs> we are also never blocking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Play around Fatal Push. <laughs> See it on top? It stays. <laughs> It'll stay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Hydra. You'll never go to the bin. And if you do, we will get treasure out of you. You won't go for naught, buddy. You will not go for naught. Attack? This smells like a push, but like I said, if they're pushing my Hydra, I could slam a shoulder next turn. They want to like quadruple block. Or triple block, I mean, sorry. They're reading the card. Attack trigger. Yeah, they wouldn't do that. They would just take it. So this is the push that we knew about. <laughs> Not new confirmed, but I mean, it's fairly obvious. So what you're saying is I need a top deck another high Oh, they drew another fatal push. Yeah, was a Okay. So they drew two fatal pushes to replace their beta triumph, which is fine now because if I can slam this shielded, that'd be great. 
I'm just scared of a vein ripper, so we do need to. Are they just gonna attack with this hive? They are. <clears throat> I don't hear a thoughts he's off the top. Just so we can tag a vein ripper, but we only have uh two thousands left, so that's not very likely. A fatal push. I'm gonna have the map here, I think. If they have another bitter triumph, then it sucks to suck for me. But I think I need to kind of start filtering. I will put the abrupt decay into the graveyard, I think. Cause it's like my my like number one answer that I need right now is a answer for the vein ripper that's kind of obviously in their hand. What can they draw that's not a removal spell or a six land that's not bad against us? Okay. Castle Lock Point. Oh, do they have another fatal push? It's annoying if they do. So I feel like I have to animate this Restlich Cottage. Maybe about the cash in these treasures soon. Yeah. I think I bored all my scavenging oozes, right? I do not board all my scavenging oozes. That was Oh this this is game one, sorry. So I wanna leave that. I'll take out the fable. So I'm going to push this because I don't want them to okay, they have the push. Okay, so the last card is a vein ripper, right? Do I want to protect my hand from thought seize? I think so. I don't think it's worth the life. But I will activate my castle at the end of my opponent's turn. I'll probably dig for six land, slam vein ripper. I need to draw a Liliana. This is Liliana that we put together. So there's only one left. Fuck. Oh, man. Show a lot of fatal wishes this game. So I can either attack or try to activate castle. I think I'll activate castle. 
Try to hit a creature or a Liliana. Well, I have to besage of this because. Oh, fuck. God, this Vein Ripper is just very annoying. So they can just act double activate mutable, attack me, and I die. <clears throat> I really need a little under there. That's unfortunate. Like be, be, even before the fable, they drew very well. They drew triple thoughtsies. Now Liliana is not an out because of Muta Vaults. She wasn't out for a second, but now it's not an out anymore. For multiple reasons: one, like the Muta Vault gets run edict effect; two. Like we can edict and then the mutal walls just go wide. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Um Two skews can come out. I like the Broncos on this matchup. I don't think Harvester's good here. I don't know if I like Decays. I don't think I like them very much. I think the main threats are Vein Ripper and Shieldred, and this doesn't answer either of them. Neither that Fatal Push does either, but I think Push is just... Um, it's just a little bit more leaner and can and actually answer Shieldred. The hand's very good. Same thing to play Blood Tide Ever Sir. Do this. I'll keep that on top. So next year we can go Sentinel, Thoughtsy, Shieldred. They could harvest or sack it to kill my Sentinel. It's not awkward, but. Vault. A 
Okay. I think if they slam shooter it here, I'm okay with it. Kind of want to commit to the board. Because if, if they slam shooter it here, I can go Sentinel, Crack, Map, Push. I got to dodge Vein Ripper one time. Because at this point, I might just, well, just Thought Seize the Soren. So they found the black source. Okay. So we need to dodge Vein Ripper one more turn. Caustic Broncos. Not the greatest draw, I guess. So I went out to the Vein Ripper now, which is fantastic. Now we can start clocking. Now this thought sees next turn can protect. I'm gonna activate Crackless Blood. It works for me. Now they're gonna play a Fable. No, Vampire Spell. What is happening? Red mana. This is a Fable. This smells like a Fable. Hello? My internet just like had a little stroke there. Take a guess I'll take the fable. We have the pick, so it's like. Sent all the nameless city. I'll say no. So now they have to like Blood Tithe Harvester soar and sack the Blood Tithe Harvester to kill my Bronco so I don't get any value out of it. If not, I could just Sentinel next turn, saddle the Bronco, attack. They do get a filter here. And I think it's okay to let them filter. and Because like I feel like the way out of this is a Bean Ripper. So I'd rather keep my pick the poison for it.
They discard the Soren, so that's their non-outer to... Well, I'm glad I kept the Sentinel on top. Because <laughs> now I can get Revolt. Do this here. Gold Vein Hydra. I will. Ooh, I guess. Do I... Yeah, I'll keep that on top. Do I want to saddle this? I guess I do. Attack, they go to four. They block, block, three. Okay. On the draw against vampires is a little tough. A little tough. And it is also acting up a little bit. Great. Great opening hand. <sighs> okay, this is a good five. I don't think I have time to mortuary here. So I'm just going to go like this. If they thought sees me, that sucks. It looks like the thought sees. If they thought sees my Dread Knight. That's really bad. Let's take my thought sees. Okay. Oh, well. This is where I wish I had underground mortuary, I guess, in this spot instead of Wargrown Tomb. But, like, we can't just assume they have thought seas because then it just, like, fucks our curve up, right? <clears throat> we need, like, a catch up card. Like, we need, like, an extinction event off the top. But they know to, like, play around it because of the pick your poison. So. We just drew only lands. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Mola to five plus nothing. They play a fable here. We're just dead. I think I'll have to pick the enchantment away, unfortunately. Like, we, we're just, we can't play around everything. We're just so far behind. We need to do this and hope to just draw an extinction event if they like combo. Miss game two. Yeah, the game two was pretty, pretty good. I'll gladly block because I need to recover. They go shielded. If I can draw a fatal push, I can go fatal push literally on a minus the shielder down. Another fable. God.
Slithon is just very awkward. Caustic Bronco. I mean, Well, we'll play this out, but we're just losing. We're just lacking resources here. Like Lily Lana, in theory, gives us an out, but they just play these little shitters that just like protect the uh, Venerbear. Again, we need uh, an extinction event. Hope they combo here. We extinction of at the board. They play Fable. Maybe just attack, and then we can Liliana the Fable. Oh, this is this is this is this is a really difficult um, to find a way to win this game. That being said, like we did roll into five, and we are at parity in terms of cards in hand. But they're ahead on board, and they have a Fable in play. So we are. Not, n not doing a bad job of uh, if they go land Vein Ripper again extinction event off the top would be very good we have two extinction this is why I want three extinction events on the sideboard because of this exact situation what up Jesse Caustic Bronco. Just want more. I just want more extinction events. And that and that's why I'm like a huge advocate for three extinction events. Like these are the board states. Why? I just want as many answers as a Vein Ripper because we can beat their mid range plan. Because their mid range plan is really only Fable. Their second Fable that they drew really sucks for us, and like that's kind of why they're really winning the mid range plan. Morgan if I obviously doesn't help. They play another Vein Ripper, that'd be great. Oh, they're just gonna do that. So we take It's actually better to not block. I take less damage if I don't block, because my out is extinction event. This is why you play three extinction event. Dude, can we have a good can we not mold into oblivion? <laughs> Please. Please. I'm on the draw. I'm gonna keep this hand, but this is very annoying. I'm gonna bottom a skews. Oh, is this um, the Lotus Field? Land. Not the right kind of land. We need an untapped land ASAP. I already have both combo pieces here. Do I just take the immersion ultimatum? This gets another land. No, I take this because if they draw another land, they could go stage and then play field and then get another stage. We just we, we need an untapped land here so bad and we need run to runner untapped lands. That's our way to we can win this game. They drew a scrying, okay. What does Allo Alchemist do, Corey? I don't know what that card does. Two minute three two target oh yeah yeah I think we were talking about that card. I think this is kind of weird because like we're not really an aggro deck, so don't really know how helpful that is. Okay, we are especially with two good let dead draws go for throw and decay, I think we're just gonna die. Our clock's not fast enough. We really needed land into land as a way to
I guess at this point I should have named ultimatum, I guess. Untap land would be nice. We need them to not hit lands for the rest of the game. Another grazer. What up, Zach? How's it going, buddy? Leon the Veil. I will not put them in the graveyard. We need them to not draw a land this turn or um, a twiddle effect. Is that a lot to ask? Was that a lot to ask? It was a lot to ask. <laughs> he did them to not draw that. <laughs> uh, so we can emerge an ultimatum. Nazis. I need to draw exactly Thoughtseize here. Yeah, we, we put the Lily on top. We need to draw exactly Thoughtseize here with the Bronco. Thoughtseize, Bronco. Show me the way, Bronco. Show me the way. Thoughtseize. That's not Thoughtseize. Well, we will Liliana here. I think I'll just discard a Decay. Discard Behold the Beyond. He's a tiny Bronco. He's a leveled up Bronco. It's, it's a Rapid Ash instead of Ponyta. What? They couldn't emerge an ultimate of her? Wow. Okay. Lily wins, I guess. <laughs> oh, they don't have the colors, you're right. Good call. Good call. Alright, well. Dress. Ren. And I can see like these are the maybe piles depending on what they what we can board out. We'll board out the pushes. We'll board out the decays. I don't like Ms. Harvester. Misery doesn't do anything. Maybe a throat. So we just have as aggressive a 
we have like an aggro plan or as much of an aggro plan as possible. They're shocked at this trick card? Yeah. Maybe they thought that like their their winning line is to untap somehow. Just get hidden strings into or a vizier and a vizier into into a into the ultimatum maybe. What's to do with Ren more aggro? Yeah. Like Ren is just like if you look at what's in the sideboard now, like post bird configuration, it's like it's all spot removal. <laughs> it's all spot removal. So it's like, do we want a four mana just three three haste? Is essentially a lightning bolt, or do you want spot removal when we already have like bitter triumphs and technically a Liliana? Like we're if they're if they're just slam a Leer, we already have like unlicensed hearse. And I don't think we want to spend a uh, like a a draw on a removal spell for like a, a grazer or anything. Those are that was a very awkward hand on both parties, though. I will say, like like both me and Ron both had very very awkward hands. Dude, we need. All right, we kept this hand last time. We have two to rest. We need a any untap land makes you makes us dread knight for two or dread whispers for two. We're on the draw. I'm gonna be greedy. We have twenty five lands. Yeah, and this is why you play twenty five lands. People love twenty four, and it's like people are just so used to modern with twenty four lands. And it's like the thing about modern is like you're so too lower to the ground than pioneer. We're a little bit more clunkier. Okay. Come on, deck. I believe in you. Yeah, agreed. And that's where like this is a list in the mana base I got a copy off from the Discord. I would much prefer having more man lands. I added a Restless Cottage myself. Uh, this has two castles, which has been really nice. And an underground mortuary, which has been kind of cool. Land. 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 Satch. The hand is like not good either. So like we could have like uh and it been in a pretty decent spot if you had just drawn a land. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean they don't have Lotus Field, so they could play out a Vizier, which they're not going to. The mana base fucks me again. Fucks me again. Because, like, I could have, like, went Bank Buster. Oh. That was a very good draw. That's why they didn't play the Vizier out. Because I could have just played Bank Buster and then played Dread Knight Attack and just, like, clock them. Now we just gotta hope, Fade, that they just never draw any of their payoffs. Now I don't even know what to do here. I could try to like play Bank Buster and then just try to like clock. I think I need a Dread Whispers. I think I need just to ensure that I hit my land drops here. Oh, why did I do that earlier? Anytime you want to register Jun for questing Druid and Cranko's bus crusher, I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, why didn't I play the land? Sorry, I got so distracted by my dog wanting to get up. That's a punt. 
We'll see. Which we'll see if it matters. If I don't draw a fourth land, it doesn't matter. They bottomed with the temple, so we have plenty of time. I like how I just drew a land and just didn't play it. <laughs> If I don't draw a land, it doesn't matter. We also just have a dead draw and dead card in hand with Boot Trap. Doesn't matter. Okay, so they're gonna redraw. Did they draw the ultimatum? They did not. So I got punished, technically. I could have gone double four drop. I could have gone uh, Dread Knight plus Terse. Not that I don't know if I would have done that. They have the Besajo in hand too, so maybe I wouldn't have done that. If we somehow win this game, I'm going to lose my mind. They have Besaju unknown. So I'll go Hearse. I'll go Bankbuster. I don't think they'll... So now this turns off um, Balaged Recovery. And is Besaju unknown. Can we kill them fast enough? I'll exile Druid's Charm and pour the pages. Back up on Licensors. Please, don't draw anything for five more turns, please. <laughs> please, I beg of you. Just draw lands. Only lands, please. Only lands, please. This is like the most anemic <laughs> lotus field hand <laughs> this is so sad four ten Three, six, ten, fourteen. We have exactly lethal if they, and it forces them to besage you. Because I could go Dread Knight, Crew, Bank Buster, Hydra for three, Crew and Licensors, attack. That would be four, eight, plus six is fourteen. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'd rather just start mapping here. Put Bronco on the graveyard. Keep two mana for a, a bit of tramp if need be. The besage you this, I could attack for seven next turn, so it's still lethal next turn.
we get to mortuary, which is nice. Uh, Pound the graveyard. Can we fade one draw step? Please. 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 <laughs> Unlicensers, baby. <laughs> that was such a bad <laughs> let us feel man. It's crazy. <laughs> But uh, we went 3-2. Um, this was actually a pretty cool league. Because uh, we got a lot of pretty positive data. Um, we got pretty good data out of the Golvein Hydra. Uh, a lot of, we got actually had some decent spots with Bronco. Um, so, and the card that impressed me was actually the Underground Mortuary as a one of. This makes me want to add this into the deck somewhere. Um... Overall, like, the only thing that's different between this mana base and the mana base I'm currently running is the second Swamp, which I really, really like. Um, it's missing a layer. It's adding a underground mortuary instead of a layer of the Hydra. And then it also has a second castle. Um, trying to figure out, like, what my previous another mana base was. There we Yeah, fuck Lotus Field, huh? Yeah, fuck Lotus Field. Yeah, so I have three Blooming Mars, two Besage. Oh, I had more Pathways. So this only has one Pathway. So instead of the two Pathways, we have another Castle. And then we're adding another Basic Swamp, which I think I like, actually. This is making me rethink kind of like the Mana Base. And like I said, the Underground Mortuary was really, really cool. So... I don't know. I might explore the shell more. I don't know if I want three Golvain Hydras. Maybe I can see one of the Golvain Hydras being a Duress. I really like the Harvesters. Uh, so we beat Phoenix. We beat Mono Black, I think. And then we beat um, Lotus Field. So we lost the Spirits. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm a big fan of so far the changes that we made so far. I don't know if I want two Bitter Triumph. I can see going down to one Bitter Triumph and doing a second go for the throat just because we have a lot of like life loss with Bronco um, and only two Scoos. I, I, I think I like two Scoos currently. Um, but I can see like... I, I, like, I feel like in the Discord we argue a lot between like what the uh, three drops should be. I think everyone's locked on, on four Sentinels. I think most people are locked on two Lilies. And it's just like, do we want Glissa? Do we want Preacher? Do you want Cemetery Prowler? Do you want Graveyard Trespasser? And Golden Hydra might be the answer. It's a card that's kind of like a dark horse pick here uh, as we prepare for the upcoming RCQ season. But like I said, we'll do some more testing. But so far, this has been pretty cool. Like Bronco definitely um, showcased um, uh, its worth here. Um, and that's just what I wanted. I just wanted like, you know, data to where... It, I can, you know, guide me one way or the other, right? Like, I want games where it's just like, does Bronco actually do something? Does Bronco actually help me win the game? Or does Bronco just, like, sit there and look pretty and, like, I'm winning games despite of Bronco? Because I felt like when we we're testing cards like Sharp Eyed Rookie um, in that slot, like, I feel like we were winning despite Sharp Eyed Rookie, right? Because, like, there weren't really much games where Sharp Eyed Rookie took over when I got Mythic with that list. Uh, but like this is the league where like we actually had like two or at least three games where like Bronco took over the match and arguably won the game. We had some Goldvein Hydra spots where it was really, really good. Allowed us to like triple spell, activate a man land, activate a castle, gave us outs to win. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in exploring this more. So uh, if you want to support the channel, please hit that follow button on Twitch. If you're watching this live, support the channel by subscribing on YouTube, trying to get 2,000 followers on Twitch and 1,000 YouTube subs. So hope everyone has a wonderful time and take care. Hope to catch everyone next time. Bye.